Hey there everybody. Well, since it's May 7th, that's an important date for some veteran free agents who are still available, like cornerback Morris Claiborne, formerly of the Jets, as of last year and the year before when he played on one-year contracts both years. Uh, the question now for the Jets is should they bring back Morris Claiborne? They have a need a cornerback. So if you look at it from a strictly a position perspective, uh, and we'll circle back to May 7th in a bit, but the Jets have a uh, a hole. Yeah, I mean, they have something of a hole uh, opposite Tremaine Johnson. Tremaine Johnson didn't have a great year as the first year last year with the Jets as a big money cornerback. And the Morris Claiborne was solid enough, solid enough playing across from him on the opposite side. Now the Jets have, you know, something of a hole there. They have Daryl Roberts as their projected starter. And, um, you know, he's not proven over the long haul. He's been a backup for the most part, a versatile player who can also play safety. But can you trust him as the uh, starting outside cornerback opposite a guy who really wasn't even that good last year in Tremaine Johnson? Or would it be smarter for the Jets to bring back Morris Claiborne? And that way they have you know, a pretty solid trio there of outside corners in Claiborne, Johnson, and Roberts. And they could always, you know, yank, yank uh, John, or, uh, uh, Claiborne if something happens in terms of his production level dipping. And they could put uh, Daryl Roberts in there if they like him better. So I think from a, uh, from a standpoint of position need, it makes a lot of sense potentially for the Jets to bring back Morris Claiborne. What about from a cap perspective? He, he, he had a $7 million contract last year. That's not a huge deal in terms of a contract. The Jets right now have $26.4 million in salary cap space. They're going to have to allocate about 9.1 of that to sign their draft pick. So they're looking at effectively $17.3 million in cap space. Seven million of that is a, is a decent chunk. If they could get Morris Claiborne back for five million, I think they'd be happier about that. Of course, than seven million, obviously. Uh, but but paying him five seven million dollars is not that bad, considering he's a pretty uh, pretty good player for them last year. He's a, he's an established veteran. He was able to stay healthy, and that's big because he hadn't been able to do that earlier in his career in Dallas. So. Those are some of the factors from a positional standpoint in terms of need for the Jets at cornerback and also from a salary cap perspective in terms of where Morris Claiborne might fit in uh, money-wise. But why does May 7th matter? As we mentioned in the beginning, and May 7th, the Tuesday here in early May, is the cutoff for the compensatory pick formula. So any player that is signed, uh, who is signed after May 7th, as opposed to you know on or before it, uh, does not count toward the compensatory pick formula for veterans who were signed after May 7th. So that's for veterans whose contract expired, not guys who were cut. So Morris Claiborne's contract expired. And Dominican Sue, his deal expired. Uh, Ezekiel Ansa, same thing. Those guys are all three of those guys are free agents still. And that's largely because the teams do not want to sign them right now, bring them in, and take a potential hit on, on losing a compensatory pick next year. So that's sort of where these guys are at, why they're in a holding pattern, why Morris Claiborne's in a holding pattern, and why you could see, even though Morris Claiborne is rehabilitating, rehabilitating an undisclosed injury, uh, that's, a, that's a potential red flag there, or maybe why he hasn't signed, but why you could see later this week, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, things start to move on that front with Sue, with Ansa, with Morris Claiborne, and now the Jets potentially could be players in bringing Morris Claiborne back uh, for a number of reasons in terms of, as we mentioned, the need, as we mentioned, the cap issues there, and being able to fit him in, and then, of course, the timing of it all, because some, somebody's probably going to make a decision on, on Morris Claiborne here in the next maybe week or so, so that's something to keep an eye on. Uh, for the Jets, who still have a need, obviously, a cornerback.